Shows that <clears throat> a for me a that they're not they're not going to go away. Lots to talk about this morning. Jim White with Bob Mills and Danny Murphy on Talk Sport. <laughs> morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good to be back. I have to say, um, I would rather be lying there poolside in LA where it was like 75 degrees yesterday. Nice. Very, very pleasant indeed. So, gentlemen, let me get this <laughs> off uh, off my my chest first and foremost. How does this work? So, Bob, I take 400 quid. I leave you. When was it? Uh, Friday before last. Oh, yeah, yeah. I take 400 quid. I've been in Scotland, so there were Scottish 20s. To a currency exchange and embankment right here in London before I flew out to the United States. Hi there. Want to change this 400 quid into US dollars? There you go. Sure thing. There you go. Ooh, Scottish notes. Yeah, we don't do them. I said it's a currency exchange. Don't do them. Don't handle them. Uh, if we do, there'll be a 5% no. surcharge. Are, are you serious? I'm serious. To I'll which bet. your reaction straight away was, no chance. Don't get yourself in prison, son, because it's legal tender. It's, it's Correct, Amundo. It's legal tender. So um, why, why is there a 5% surcharge? Well, the Scottish notes. I said, but I'm not having that. It's, it's legal tender. Uh, no, the Scottish notes. So I said, okay, well, no deal. So I came out, I, I called their the head office. And was told, yeah, that's right. There's a five percent surcharge for us handling Scottish notes. Why? Because their bank charges them five percent extra to handle Scottish notes. I said, oh, really? What bank do you use? Royal Bank of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get your heads round that? I mean, on it, I don't know if anyone has suffered. That, that. doesn't Can surprise me in the slightest. You imagine if you're a student, Danny, and you're, you're going out to the well, States tonight and you've got a couple of hundred quid <laughs> in, in Scottish 20s. They're going to hit you with a 5% surcharge. And it's all down to the Royal Bank of Scotland. Well, so can, don't, you, you don't know, worry about it. I'm coming for you yeah, as well. Yeah, well, what you should well done in bringing that up. But it's like it's like paying to take out your own money, isn't it? Yeah. I was I, I'm going to pay to take out my money. I, I, yeah. I'll, I'll say a couple of things to you. First and foremost, Jim. What you were doing going to a currency exchange thing on the on the embankment? If you want to if you want to convert your money to your currency, you have to do it online. Yeah, you've got to you've got to move into at least the twentieth, if not the twenty first century. Even I've moved that far. So no, I, right. I don't do that. I do what you do. You do. Well, what you I turn do. up with a bag of yeah. cash. Yeah. Yeah. Give us some euros. No, well, oh. sometimes I would use credit card. You you got to use a card, and the. W Really what you should do is you should do it online and pick it up at the mm. airport. Don't go to the airport and buy it. Yeah. Because then but, you're no, a punter. But, but if you choose to take cash in, and it so happens to be Scottish notes, mm. why should you be paying a 5% surcharge? Because their bank charges them a 5% surcharge, and their bank's a Royal Bank of Scotland. When, when I, I was, loved it. When I worked in it. retail, this is what we were told. S Scottish banknotes are legal tender, and you have to accept them. However... Do everything you can to not accept them. That's right. They're a nuisance. Yeah. Well, well Joe, Joe in here was telling me his dad uh, was a cab driver and never liked handling <coughs> Scottish notes. I get that because he doesn't want to give a, a, a 20 bank and change yeah, or a Scottish bank, tenner yeah. bank and change. But this is a currency exchange whose bank is the Royal Bank of Scotland. Oh, <clears throat> well, I, well, I have I was, to tell I you, that once, got me going. I was going. once at one of the London airports where um, I got a few thousand out on a credit card, I think it was. Oh, it was a two and a half or three, I think it was, um, for a holiday. And it it was it's quite a large sum, isn't it, I suppose? But anyway, um, they were saying that I had to ask, answer X amount of questions <laughs> to be able to swap that amount of money. Really? And basically, they were going on your honesty, mm. yeah, yeah. whether they do it or not. Yeah. So being in a kind of, well, we'll call it one of my normal moods. Cheeky. Jovial. No, gr grumpy. All right. What the hell is this all about? <laughs> I'd, I'd just finished playing and they were like, what did you do? I said, nothing. I'm retired. <laughs> you know, and obviously, you know, looking quite young to be retired. Yeah, yeah. Well, this became really fishy for them, didn't it? Yeah. I must have got grilled. But, um, 10, 15 questions later, one of my friends who was getting annoyed with me actually told them the truth. So they believed me and let me change the money. That's incredible, isn't How it? How illogical is that? Exactly. Because oh. I could have, what if I'd have said that I was um, yeah. an arms dealer? Yeah. Oh, I know. Would she have refused me the money? Well, 
he's got a look of an arms dealer about him, hasn't you he? You know Bob? what I'm saying, don't yeah. you? Danny, Who is this middle-aged woman who's probably got three kids at home? So judge my... Don't think we're not, but Harry Kane, yeah, terrific. Very important goal for him. Uh, the UEFA uh, Nations League. Are you having it, Mr Murphy? Well, Danny Murphy! Danny Murphy! Danny Murphy! Danny Murphy! Danny Murphy. He's an angel to me. Shows that <clears throat> a for me, a that they're not they're not going to go away. They're going to be there or thereabouts. They are fighting till the end for this fourth spot. And b what tremendous strength and depth they've actually got when. <clears throat> Danny Murphy. <laughs> I personally thought, for example, at Tottenham in the Cup at the weekend, without Mares and Vardy in the side, that they might struggle to create. And far from it, they've they've still they're still at this stage of the season playing with that energy, uh, that athleticism, and that creativity that we've seen throughout the season so far. <clears throat> and I think in Danny Murphy, how I want him. How I tingle when he takes a call Every time he says talk sport My heart begins to stall Danny Murphy on the Alan Brazil Sports Breakfast Angels with Dirty Faces Monday morning from 6 on Talk Sport <clears throat> And I think it's, it's hard um, 